Yesterday, Greg Dyke, the chairman of England's Football Association, outlined new proposals uh, to essentially have less foreign players and more English players in the Premier League. It is unbelievable just how bad this is. The logic goes that foreign players are cheaper for English clubs to buy and then play, so English talent doesn't get the opportunities that it should, and so the talent pool doesn't rise to the top. The argument suggests that if you give English players more chances, the league will just suddenly spew out the next Steven Gerrard, which, of course, is all a big fallacy. If you worsen league quality by forcing clubs to play more average English players, then those players will lose the incredible privilege that so many of them currently have of playing in arguably one of the best leagues in the world. They will then stagnate, not improve, because they're playing at a less competitive level and thus worsen the national team. And that assumes these players will even play. In reality, all Premier League quotas have really done is make Premier League clubs need more English players, causing their wages to rise with enforced levels of demand and rising TV cash, making better and cheaper foreign players even more attractive than they were before. And English players instead are paid ridiculous amounts to sit on the bench to fill up quotas like Rodwell and Sinclair and so many other players have. When Greg Dyke was asked if these new player rules would be legal, he said, we think so. Sometimes you wonder if the FA just wanted to port everyone, drop out of Europe, so we can all go to the pre-50s period where we all sat around and pretended that English footballers were the best in the world. It all sounds a bit UKIP doesn't it? The Germans aren't great footballers because more of them play in the German league. More Germans play in the German league because the Germans are great footballers. The idea that less foreigners would improve the quality of English football is a legally questionable, morally objectionable manifesto of crap that I would maybe expect from a latently xenophobic, unqualified pseudo-economist working off what they read last week in the Daily Express, but not from someone charged with improving the state of English football. If you're asking me, it's incredible that these views are given any oxygen at all let alone that they have the full backing of the FA and of many commentators and former football professionals. Encourage Brits to go abroad to increase competitive opportunities, put more resources into more and better coaches, but a league in which Rob Green is the third best goalkeeper? It doesn't benefit anyone. Please, Greg, don't make that happen. Subscribe, give this video a like to increase my sense of self-worth, follow me on Twitter in the links in the description below, and I'll catch you later. I asked you to give me some cues. Here are your eight. Top four predictions. Chelsea, Manchester City, Arsenal, Manchester United. If you're not just talking about Premier League, then also um, Bayern, Wolfsburg.